Good morning, everyone. This is not an angle you see me from very often today. Uh, I decided we were going to do a vlog. Basically, it's the weekend. It's Saturday morning. I didn't film last night because I just ended up texting with people all night and didn't do anything. Um, but yeah, just to kind of show you again what my weekends are like when I'm actually doing something today. I'm Well, this weekend I'm actually doing stuff, so I'm actually pretty busy. But I have a lot of train rides this weekend and that's where I tend to get the majority of my reading done over the weekends just because I don't actually enjoy reading at home unless it's like past 10 p.m. Uh, before 10 p.m. I really struggle reading at home because most of the sunlight comes into this room, my room in my apartment. And the only thing I have in here is my bed. And the last thing I want to do during the day is sit on my bed to read because I'm not going to get reading done. I'm just going to take a nap that I don't need. And um, that's just a huge waste of time. And it's kind of a mood killer, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so I need to be out of the house <laughs> to get some reading. And fortunately today, that's exactly what we're going to do because I am going to the beach for the first time this season. I'm really excited. It's a really, really super sunny day. It is in the middle of rainy season, but uh, this weekend it is sunny compared to the rain we had last week. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really, really good sunny day. I'm very excited. Um, so on that note, what am I currently reading? What am I bringing with me? So I have my current nonfiction read at home, which is Empire of the Summer Moon, uh, Quanah Parker and the Rise and Fall <clears throat> of the Comanches, the most powerful Indian tribe in American history. This is super, super fascinating. I'm loving this. I only have about 100 pages left. I would love to finish this over the weekend, but that's probably wishful thinking um, because I, these days I'm just a very slow reader. Um, slowly, but surely, or surely, but very, very slowly <laughs> is how my reading is going this year. Like this is the only, um, one of the only books I will have finished this month so far and it's already like mid June. So yeah. Then um, I also have this book, which is Mai Mai by Aki Shimazaki. Um, I mean, Aki Shimazaki is a Japanese author, but actually she lives in Canada and she writes in French. So, uh, but she has very Japanese themes, her books, or at least this series, because this is a series of books, uh, it takes place in Japan. So these have been my workbooks because they're so short and nice. They work really, really good for the train. Um, not the train. They work really good for lunch at work where I can just like easily start the book, put it down and then like just, yeah, it's just, they're really, really smooth. They're easy. So I finished this one at work this past week, uh, Fukinoto and, um, yeah, just really enjoying, uh, being back in this world with the Mai Mai. Um, this will be my last book in this series and I will have completed the uh, Long du Chardon series. Um, which is exciting because these are so short, there's no reason for me to spend three years reading these. Like seriously, the, the five books can be read in a weekend. They take like an hour and a half to read each individual novel. But that's besides the point. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a proper uh, reader, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just brought this with me because this I thought would be really, really good for the train because um, this I want to concentrate on. It doesn't require concentrating, but like in, in that kind of sense, it's not a difficult read. That's not why I want to concentrate on it. It's just that it's so fascinating that I want to like absorb every single word. Um, so this is better for the train where train stations will be called off. People are getting on and off uh, sitting next to me or whatnot. So it's uh, less easy to get distracted with this book because the French, well, the writing is so simple. It's good. I'm, I like it. But the writing, to be honest, is very, very simple. So yeah, that's what we are doing today. I am taking you with me to the beach and um, you'll follow me the rest of the weekend. So. Shore Beach at Katsuya Noshima, and 
this is like the best time of year to go to the beach here if you're a reader because basically uh, they haven't started building their umi no ie which means like literally translation the ocean homes but it's kind of basically like just like not nah, I mean vacation homes uh, that's not what I meant to say <laughs> I meant to say uh, like ocean house house on the ocean uh, but basically what it is, it's like bars on the beach and um, then so it makes like during the season which is August they play music and it's rowdy and people are drinking and everyone has their like own speakers on top of the music of the bars on top of the public speakers on the beach that are just awful because they play the same five songs on repeat all day until 5 p.m. It's exhausting. If you're a reader, it's impossible to read here. Um, and then like guys are really annoying because they come to hit on you and flirt on you and make sexual advances and try and touch you inappropriately or at least that's my situation um, and it's really annoying. So usually once August hits, I, uh, I go to a different beach, but now it's really calm. So it's nice. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me flip the camera around. You see these structures that aren't quite built yet? They're not done. So those are the umi no ye. Those are the, what will be bars and like, I mean, they're convenient. If you're here to party and not to read, like they're really cool. Like they're actually really fun. You can buy drinks, you can buy a little bit of food. They have lockers so you can store your stuff. There are even showers so that you can shower before you go home and like go somewhere else, which is really great because there's definitely the culture of do not ride the train full of sand, basically like wash yourself off. So that actually is really good. So like I said, if you're here to party, it's really, really good. And then like if you see this big structure right here in the middle of the screen in front of me, those are the speakers that are just awful they you can't avoid them you can't escape them unless you sit behind them basically so you know use the physics of the way sound travels and the angle at which the speakers are facing so you have to sit behind them to like cancel out the the sound but um yeah they just play like the same five songs all day and then like a woman will interrupt you and be like hey, hey guys it really feels like summer doesn't it did you remember your sunscreen? Don't forget to eat your lunch. Oh, wow, it really is a nice time today. You know, like that kind of like frivolous noise in the background that you really don't need, or at least I don't want personally. But like I said, it's June now, so it's nice to just um, be on the beach calmly and being able to read. everyone so I'm back home um, I took a shower and um, now I'm getting ready to go back out <laughs> to meet up with a uh, kind of a new friend um, uh, yeah and so yeah I'm excited for that we're gonna have some barbecue so I'm going to take you to Rupongi with me and then whatever happens after that will basically happen I did end up finishing the short book the mai mai the Aki, akishimazaki book i did end up finishing that which i expected because it's so easy to read um <laughs> i don't really know how i feel about the ending to be honest um i need to think about it because it's well i can't say what it is because it'll spoil it um but it's a um something i don't really typically read very often <laughs> if at all um so yeah uh please don't take makeup tips from me i um do the same thing every time and i pretty much don't do anything so anyway yeah uh that's my update for now let's go to Lupungi. Good morning. <laughs> it is the following morning. It's Sunday morning. So last night with my friend, we ended up staying. Well, I got home like a little bit before 1 a.m. It was a good time. We had we went and ate some American barbecue in Lopongi, which I showed you. 
And then at the barbecue place, we ran into some some American reality TV show star. I don't know who the person is because I don't watch reality TV or I haven't since Bravo days with Project Runway. That was like the only show I really liked back in the day. But anyway, I don't have access to those TV shows here anyway. Um, but my friend who I was eating with knew who he was. And so we actually ended up talking to him and his fiance all night. And it was actually pretty fun. I mean, like, it's always interesting to interact with people and 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 listen to people who have very different experiences from you and uh, different uh, lifestyles from you. So that part was actually quite interesting. The conversation was a little vapid, but uh, um, it was it was still fun nonetheless. So, but I got home late. I went immediately to bed. This morning, all I've done is put my sheets in the la laundry machine. Just get dressed. I have a Skype call to do in about four minutes. And then after that, I have to go to orchestra rehearsal and I do orchestra orchestra rehearsal until 5 p.m. And then I'll finally be able to go home and relax uh, this Sunday. Um, if you noticed, so I haven't really talked about any books, but again, I only have four minutes time. But if you notice, I showed you a clip of this. I brought this on the uh, for the train. Um, because it fits in my bag. Well, I thought it would. It kind of did. Any case, that's not um, important. But I read it's a five act play, a uh, very famous French play from, I read it's like from the 1600s. Uh, let me confirm that real quick. Uh, it was published in 1636. Yeah, so 1636. Um, Lucide by Pierre Corneille, so it's really famous. I wanted to read this because I read Cyrano de Bergerac uh, last year or two years ago, and I really enjoyed that experience, so I was inspired to start reading some theater, uh, traditional French theaters, especially since these are kind of books I think you read in school, uh, but I never got that opportunity, so this is my chance to do it. Um, basically, this is about a uh, it's in takes place in medieval Spain, and the uh, oh, uh, I don't know to use Spanish uh, pronunciation or French, but I'll go with French. Uh, Rodrigue um, kills has to avenge his father, who was um, what's the word? Not mistreated, but like um, an affront. Uh, he was um, insulted, basically just insulted. And so his father goes, kill this person, and it turns out it's the father of Shimen. Uh, Shimen is the woman that uh, Rodrigue is in love with. So Rodrigue kills the father to avenge his own father, but he kills the father of his love. So that's the play. It's a five-act play, and I was able to read Act 1 last uh, night in the train. I'm really enjoying it. It's very easy to read. Um, but I like the rhyme scheme. It doesn't have the humor, obviously, of Cyrano de Bergerac, which is something about Cyrano de Bergerac that I absolutely love. But I'm definitely interested, and I'm really curious to see where this goes. Um, because, yeah, I mean, when you kill your father's... No, when you kill your lover's father, uh, things can't go well, I think. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. That's what I decided to do. Uh, I haven't touched the um, Comanche book, and I... I don't know, maybe I'll get to read some of that last night, but that just kind of shows you, like, I have good intentions to read over weekends, um, but then life happens, and the life part's good, when the life part's good. Um, really, I should film one of these blogs when I have absolutely no plans, and then that way it'll force me to create plans so that I can look good in front of you guys, because otherwise I end up doing nothing. No reading, no life, no nothing, but yeah. So anyway, I have to go do my Skype call, um, and then I'll insert some footage of me um, walking around Tokyo when I go to my orchestra rehearsal. Hello, hello. 
So I've been back from orchestra for a little while. I just was chilling in my room. And right now I'm basically dealing, like taking care of my hibiscus and killing like all of the, these white bugs that uh, are take are basically attacking my plant right now. Uh, what they do is they like lay eggs on the bottom underneath the leaves, and then when the eggs hatch, the little nasty little buggers they suck the chlorophyll out of the leaves, and by doing that, they uh, basically weaken the plant and let it die so what i'm doing is just i wet a rag an old t-shirt and i'm basically going leaf by leaf and smushing all the eggs underneath the leaves and basically i do this every once in a while until i feel like all the eggs are like there's enough of basically i've controlled the population enough to where it would take quite a while for it to rebuild a colony um but my plant has suffered quite a bit unfortunately but yeah that's my exciting sunday night um so uh, i did actually end up reading more of the play on my way to orchestra and on the way home from orchestra it's really just it's just really nice it's it definitely it's it's classic it's like almost predictable, but it's just well done. It's well written. And ooh, this one has a lot of eggs underneath. Gross, okay. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just well done. I love the rhyming scheme. It's basically every, every two lines are paired together um, to rhyme. And then it's just like, it's just like those things. It's just, you don't read very often, but when you read, you just, you just appreciate it so much. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, I think I'm just gonna um, take that book to work and make it my um, during lunch uh, read because that'll be nice to just slowly uh, read during the week while I'm at lunch. I, basically, I just explained what reading at lunch is. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that's all I'm going to do for tonight uh, or for this vlog basically uh, because I mean, what else, what else am I going to do today? I'm going to keep working on this while I watch some YouTube. And then, uh, and then I'm just going to start getting ready for the end of the night and keep... Um, I have to put the sheets back on my bed since I did that kind of laundry today. And um, yeah, just basic little standard... Ooh, this is about to, this is this branch is gonna give me some flowers exciting um yeah just doing like domestic stuff tonight and then basically before going to sleep so like around 10 p.m i'll go to bed and then i will finally uh start to read the uh non-fiction book about the comanches so continue reading that hopefully at least read like maybe 50 pages or so so i can um get that done either tomorrow night or the night after so tuesday night so yeah that's it and so yeah uh thank you so much uh for watching this vlog it's something i'm still working at and practicing but a few guys expressed interest um in watching me basically go about my day uh or days in, to in, well, in Japan, whether I read or not. So yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.